Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leaks and how the community has reacted so far to the bevy of leaks and rumors and information that we've gotten for these games with the lack of any real trailers or news in the last couple months. But before we get into that, I just wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. The Tokyo Treat and Sakurako boxes contain different Japanese snacks and have a new theme every month. You'll find many modern pop snacks and candies in the Tokyo Treat box, and more traditional Japanese snacks in the Sakurako box. They also make it easy to know what you're snacking on with these booklets in each box. The theme for the Tokyo Treat box in August is Sugoi Summer, and is filled with summer treats like strawberry cream soda and watermelon seed ramen candy. The Sakurako box theme is Okinawa Retreat. The box has snacks with ingredients straight from farmers in the Okinawa region of Japan, like the cinnamon cookies, which also pair perfectly with some tea. For me, the sour paper candy cola has got to be my favorite snack in the Tokyo Treat box, and the cinnamon cookies taste amazing from the Sakurako box, trust me. If you want to get these and many more, make sure to head over to the Tokyo Treat and Sakurako websites with my links in the description. Thank you again to Tokyo Treat and Sakurako for the support. It has been an absolutely wild season for leaks and rumors this year with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and it's even crazier because the Pokemon company really hasn't given us much. We've had two trailers for the game so far, and it's July. The games are due out in November. But seemingly, we are nowhere near a new trailer announcement because of the lack of a Nintendo Direct last year and the strange patterns that they formed with the release cycles for BDSP and Legends Arceus. We didn't get big blowout trailers for either game until August of last year, when the game Games were out in November and January, respectively. That leads you to believe that it's probably going to be a couple weeks, maybe, until we see an official new trailer for the games. But that hasn't stopped the bevy of leakers and insiders on Twitter and 4chan and people who report on that news on YouTube from covering every single bit of news to a T. And listen, I've fallen suspect to this as well. I have seen a lot of the leaks and a lot of the rumors. I have not reported on them on the channel, and I'm not going to cover what they say in this video. But the community seems to be getting frustrated with Game Freak and with the Pokemon company in light of all of these rumors. Now, let me address what the rumors are specifically without telling you what's in them. It's a lot of blurry screenshots and some blurry video footage that seems to show forms and new Pokemon, information about characters in the game, and maybe be some hints at what the gimmick might be. That's what the leaks are. And a lot of people in the community seem to believe they're credible. They seem legitimate. They seem to fit the art style and theme and aesthetic of what we've already seen in official trailers. And a lot of the things that they've revealed from certain leakers on social media seem to be credible, seem to be believable, and are in line with a lot of the reports that we've gotten from other news outlets as to what these games might feature. That's why a lot of people are taking it as fact, and I'm inclined genuinely to believe a lot of them are legitimate leaks, and they give credence to some of the leakers in the community that have garnered a reputation for being legitimate. Some of them that I have denied in the past are legitimate as well. People like Riddler Koo and other leakers who are very well known in the community that I've said might be BSers for a long time seem to be getting a little more credibility, so you have to give these leaks legitimacy. The problem is, it's not the Pokemon company's fault that these games are getting leaked. They're not going to adjust their marketing strategy because all of this information is getting leaked. Let's assume that the forms, the form gimmick that was revealed in these leaks, because there is something to do with forms, whether it's regional variants or something new, I'm not entirely sure. Let's assume it's true. Pokemon Company is not just going to drop a trailer tomorrow revealing all of the brand new regional variants because it's gotten leaked. They're not going to give the leaker credibility. They're going to continue to stick to their original marketing strategy, and that seems to be pissing off a lot of members of the community, unfortunately. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course. Subscribing is free, and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the Join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. Now, this is all... 
good and fine. You can be angry at the Pokemon company. I think you're illegitimate in your anger, but it is what it is. Their marketing strategy clearly works. Even if you don't think their marketing strategy has anything to do with the sales of recent games, the games still sell. They could release no new trailer for the next six months. It would annoy everyone on social media and on YouTube, and the games would probably sell 20 million copies. It doesn't matter, genuinely. But still, these leaks could be false. They could be. Every insider in the world could be wrong. Every insider last year thought the Nintendo Switch Pro was going to be announced, and we got an OLED Switch that is not any more powerful than the original Switch. It just has a better screen. Insiders are wrong. Leakers could be completely false. We've seen really good, credible false leaks before. People who have way too much time on their hands and want to trick a ton of gullible, desperate people on the internet because we can deny it all we want. We could say we don't need news. We're easily, we don't easily believe fakes. We all want news. We all want information. We're Pokemon fans who have Twitters and Instagrams and YouTubes where we're subscribed to people who report on news and cover information. We want to get news and information. If you're subscribed to me, you want Pokemon news. So everyone wants to believe leaks when they come out. People are skeptical as they should, and these leaks could very well be false. But that doesn't mean we need to get angry at the Pokemon company. Who knows how this leak got out? Generally, my theory whenever we see leaks is that something in the localization efforts is what led to it getting leaked. Someone on some team somewhere who's localizing the game for a language other than Japanese, other than what the game is originally made in, somehow managed to get the game out, got screenshots out, and the game is leaked. Maybe it fell off the back of a truck in shipping, but that usually only occurs in the two months leading up to release. It doesn't happen this early. So who knows how the game has leaked, if this is legitimate. If it is, there could be a lot to be excited about if you've seen them. If you haven't, and you're like me, and you want to generally wait for the official trailers, we still have a really good hype cycle coming, and it's going to be a fun time. These leaks could be false. It, it has to be kept in mind that the forms, evolutions, gimmicks, uh, characters and story beats that we seem to be getting, there's a lot of mixed signals. There could be people looking to capitalize on one individual who has legitimate information and legitimate access to the game in some form, releasing things, and there could be people trying to piggyback on top of him and try to also reveal their own information and try to gain credibility by jumping onto something legitimate. A lot of this stuff could be mixing together and it needs to be kept in mind as we continue to go throughout the summer. Now, what does what needs to be said is the moment we get a new trailer, it's the summer now, eventually, at some point before September, I guarantee you, we're going to see more gameplay officially of Scarlet and Violet. And the moment they reveal something having to do with the gimmick or characters, we're going to know if these leaks in the last couple weeks are real. We'll know right off the bat. It will be very clear and obvious. So we don't have to wait all that long to get official information. And I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think, though. Have you been following the leaks? Are you looking forward to see how legitimate they are as I am? Be sure to let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Check out the sponsor links in the description below. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.